Now the Czech Rain jailbreak team actually teased their jailbreak working on iOS 14 already. What's up guys, the tech spot here and today I'm going to be entering the hot debate on whether you should stick to iOS 13.5 and lower and jailbreak or if you should update to iOS 14 and not have a jailbreak for some time. Basically, should you stay on the firmware that you are right now and be able to jailbreak and keep your jailbreak or should you update to iOS 14 and lose your jailbreak? Is iOS 14 worth it to lose a jailbreak? So I'll be answering that question and hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will be able to 100% decide if you want to update to iOS 14 or stay on your current version and keep your jailbreak. Okay, so let's get started. The reason why you would want to update to iOS 14 is for the new features of course so there are jailbreak tweaks that these features came from in iOS 14 of course everyone has been talking about this how iOS 14 stole tweaks from the jailbreak community but at this point Cydia basically has a tweak for everything so it's kind of hard to tell Apple hey well you copied from the jailbreak community because there's essentially a tweak for everything and I am happy that Apple did copy the jailbreak community because I want these great features that we get only with the jailbreak to to be on stock iOS. Okay, this is the only reason why we jumping in the first place is to get these features first place. I don't know why I said that weird. First place. But anyways, let's talk about some of the tweaks that Apple took from jailbreaking. So first off, the widgets. Now, the widgets actually were in a jailbreak tweak called Vlogs Reloaded. It's pretty similar to the widgets that you see on iOS 14. Now, iOS 14 also brings picture in picture, which basically allows you to bring the video and just have it anywhere on your home screen or whatever you're doing on your device. You can have a little video mini player, which is really, really cool. And you can also do this with a jailbreak tweak for a long, long time through a tweak called iPadify or you can use Titan or there's also a tweak, I believe it was called Video Pane. So you can get the same mini video player for picture in picture as well. And it works everywhere on your device. And it's so cool. Now, as you guys know, iOS 14 also has a smaller Siri. It doesn't hijack your entire screen when you use Siri. And this was accomplished with a jailbreak tweak a long time ago as well, using a tweak called Small Siri. Now, it doesn't look the exact same as iOS 14. iOS 14 has this little orb, which I think looks really, really cool and it looks a lot better. Now in iOS 14, you can also pin messages. So conversations that you want to stay at the top of your messages and just be readily available. You can just pin those messages so that they are always right at the top. And this was already done with a jailbreak tweak called Dope Canvas. So that tweak essentially does the same thing. Now, I thought this was a dope feature in iOS 14, being able to add a wallpaper finally in CarPlay. I use CarPlay a lot, so having that feature is amazing. And with a jailbreak tweak called Canvas, you could do that already, and you were able to do that for a long time with jailbreaking, okay? But it just now made its way to, over to iOS 14. Now, the mini calling interface where it doesn't hijack your screen as well whenever you get a call. Now, this is a big, big feature that I love that I hated it when I'm doing something and I get a call and it's you just can't dismiss it. Basically, it hijacks your entire iPhone. So with a jailbreak, again, you were able to do this for a while through a tweet called Call Bar. And there's another tweet called Scorpion 2 that did the same thing. So basically, it puts a mini call interface on your device. And the last one I'm going to talk about is the app library. Now, again, this is another big feature in iOS 14. And there's a jailbreak tweak called Insta Launcher 2, which basically brings kind of like an app library smart app launcher to your device. It's actually pretty smart. I don't know why I did this, but yeah, smart app launcher. You can use Insta Launcher 2. There's also a tweak called Launchtron and there's a tweak called Rofi, R-O-F-I. But yeah, I just wanted to run through all the tweaks that you could basically get iOS 14 features with. So if you just wanted to keep your jailbreak and not update to iOS 14, there are tweaks to make it like iOS 14, but not completely identical because iOS 14 does have a lot of small features that are added in and like things are moved around. Around. So with all these jailbreak tweaks, it will not be exactly like iOS 14, but it will be very, very close. Now, of course, with the jailbreak, not only can you get these iOS 14 features, but you can get a lot more. There's tweaks for literally actual live wallpapers that move in the background using a tweak called Frame. And there's so many other amazing tweaks that developers are constantly releasing. So if you like that, if you constantly like tweaking your device, making it look completely different and how you want it, then jailbreaking is the way to go. But there are benefits to having the real iOS 14. And that is that it's 
going to be a lot more stable. With a jailbreak, when you install these tweaks, it's not made by Apple, so it's not optimized as well. If you have two tweaks from two different developers installed at the same time, they might not play well together and it'll end up crashing your springboard and you have to restart your springboard and worry about that. So with iOS 14, you can expect a much more refined experience, okay? So they will work a lot more fluidly, they will be a lot more stable, you will get better battery life on iOS 14 as compared to running some jailbreak tweaks, which will definitely lower your battery life and will not be as stable as iOS 14. So that's ultimately what it really comes down to as of right now, as we do not have a jailbreak for iOS 14 just yet. I, notice I say just yeah, okay, we are going to be seeing a jailbreak for iOS 14, that is inevitable, alright? But right now it basically comes down to if you want a jailbreak, then it won't be as stable as iOS 14, but you will be able to do a lot more on your device, you will be able to customize your device to a much greater extent and do so much more with all these jailbreak tweaks. You can get the iOS 14 features and much more. But again, the jailbreak is not stable and these new jailbreaks are semi untethered, which means that every time your device turns off or it dies and you turn it back on, your jailbreak will become inactive. And to re-enable your jailbreak, you have to rerun the jailbreak again on your device. And that's when all your jailbreak tweaks will once again come to life and work. Now with iOS 14, of course, you will not have that issue. You will just be able to reboot your device, you'll turn it back on, and it's not like the widgets will no longer work. Now, going to iOS 14, the benefits of that are that it'll just be more stable, you'll get better battery life, it's made by Apple, you'll get the latest updates, this newest security updates. It's just a lot more put together, but you do not get the same freedom as you do with a jailbreak where you could do just so much more. You could basically do anything that you want with a jailbreak. There's a tweak for everything. You could change the way your device looks completely with a jailbreak. All right, so you guys choose. Do you want stability and bug fixes and security improvements and just better battery life? Or do you want that more freedom? Okay, so that's really what it comes down to. And in the future, again, we will see a jailbreak for iOS 14. So you will be able to get the best of both worlds. iOS 14 jailbroken. Now the Check Rain jailbreak team actually teased their jailbreak working on iOS 14 already. And iOS 14, it, it just came out in beta and they're already teasing that it, they have a working jailbreak. Now, the only thing about the check rain jailbreak is that it supports older devices, meaning the iPhone 10 and below. Any device newer than the iPhone 10 is not supported by check rain. For that, we will have to wait for the uncovered jailbreak, probably. The uncovered jailbreak team has not really said much about iOS 14, but I'm sure, I'm sure. It might take some time, but they will develop a jailbreak for newer devices and older devices soon as well. We are going to be seeing a new jailbreak for iOS 14. It's just a matter of when we will see it. And please do not ask me because I'm not a jailbreak developer and we don't really know when the jailbreak will actually be released. These teams are working to make a jailbreak, but even they don't know when they will find a security flaw or vulnerability exploit that they could use to then jailbreak iOS 14. It's going to be a matter of time. Of course, I will keep you guys fully updated on this jailbreak scene. And as soon as we do have a jailbreak for iOS 14, you can bet your life that I will make a video on it. And once that jailbreak is released, you'll be able to have the bu the bu 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 the best of both worlds, iOS 14 and a jailbreak at the same time. So really cool stuff. But anyways, guys, that's my two cents. Now, will you really miss out that much if you do not update to iOS 14? No. I mean, you could get many of these features with a jailbreak anyways, many of the main features. And developers for jailbreak tweaks are constantly making new jailbreak tweaks for a bunch of other things as well. So yeah, do what you want to do, okay? I trust your decision. It really comes down to your personal preference, but I hope I helped you guys in deciding whether you want to keep your jailbreak on iOS 13 or below or update to iOS 14. Now, of course, if you do update with a jailbreak, to iOS 14, then you will lose your jailbreak because iOS 14 does not support that jailbreak. Your jailbreak gone, okay? It'll be disappeared from your home screen. And please be sure to slap that like button. I really do appreciate it a ton and it helps out the channel tremendously. And also be sure to subscribe for new videos because I do have many more videos coming that you guys will definitely like, hopefully, uh, I hope. This is the tech spot and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. All right, so I'm editing this video and I realize, oh my gosh, it's at nine minutes, 30 seconds. It's been a while since I got a video to reach 10 minutes and I spent a lot of time on this video, so 
I, I'm gonna get that 10 minutes, I okay? I know many of you guys complain about this comments, but guys, 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 I need that ad revenue, okay? My views are down, and <laughs> okay, but yeah, just getting to 10 minutes, uh, don't mind me. Um, got a haircut, by the way. Uh, my mom cut it, so kind of messed up my ear a little bit, uh, right there, but still, and yeah, yeah, I got something stuck in my teeth. That's dope, but I think we're good. All right, guys, deuces.